everyone. Welcome back to Super Jerry 27's Nerd Cave. I'm uh, this is a redo video. Um, it's a super duper better late than never review of The Legend of Zelda: Breath of the Wild. I guess the first one I filmed, the audio didn't record, and I posted it on YouTube. And one of my lovely subscribers was like, "Yo, man, no audio." So I took it down, and here I am filming it again about a week later. But that means I've also put a week more into the game. So. Um, my Breath of the Wild story starts six years ago, much like everyone else's, but I, I thought about this before I filmed this video. Um, I went to GameStop for a, a midnight release. It was a midnight Switch slash, slash Breath of the Wild release, and uh, I didn't realize that that would be my last midnight release at a GameStop because they kind of started the down trend of treating their employees like shit. Uh, and just not doing midnight releases and having mostly Funko Pops and cheap Trotsky t-shirts in it. But uh, I was there. I got there probably 11.30 or something. Because I wasn't getting a Switch, so it didn't matter. I didn't have the money at the time. I had paid off my Wii U copy of Breath of the Wild, and I couldn't wait to get it to see what Nintendo had in store for me. It popped it in the Wii U, and I didn't enjoy it. I'm not going to lie. I am insanely horrifically bad at just open world uh, drop you in and you have to figure it out games. And that's why I'm not that good at life because that's what life is, right? But, uh, ooh, disc is nice. I mean, that's one thing I do. Like, I like the Switch cartridges, but I miss, look at the gorgeous disc. But yeah, so I didn't enjoy it then. Flash forward a few years, I finally get the money for a Switch. So I pick up this Breath of the Wild, you know, because I'm like, well, if they're going to make a sequel, maybe the saves... Oh, I'm playing it, so it's not in there. Maybe the saves will go to the sequel. So I started playing it once again, the same thing. One, Getting one-shotted, not enjoying it, not knowing what to do. It's like, oh, this isn't fun, this isn't fun, this isn't fun. So, flash forward another few years, and Amazon happens to put Tears of the Kingdom on sale for about $20 less, which is very rare for a first-party Nintendo game, A, to be on sale, and B, to be on sale less than a month after release. So I snatched it up. Mine's still sealed. Because, why well, am I going to open it? I haven't beaten the first one yet. So I've been working on it. Um, I used the same save because I had put some pretty good progress into it. I found one of the divine beast but the ele it was elephant i found the elephant and he kept whooping my ass and i just couldn't do it i, could, oh, I got through the puzzles like the puzzles we got to move the trunk and all that happy horse shit but i couldn't beat water by glannon because i had six <clears throat> excuse me six heart containers so i was just getting bitch slapped all around so i bulked up i did the arnold i went to the shrines and i ah, stamina and hearts i'm no longer puny link so it's been, and like I still was getting one shotted in certain areas, which sucked. But found some fairies, upgraded my armor, and in one day I beat two divine beasts. So I was pretty proud of that. Uh, I still need to beat the camel and the one in Goron Mountain, but I have to get the rest of the armor. I'm actually going to do that after this video. I'm going to play from it's ten fifteen now. I'm going to play from ten fifteen till five o'clock when I make dinner. But these are the pros and cons that I was thinking about. Let's do the cons first, because you always want to end on a positive, right? I hate the weapon degradate, de degradation. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Um, I don't like, because I'm in Goron Valley right now, or Death Mountain. I hate it that my bow is just like literally lighting on fire in my back, because I don't have a metal bow. And now I don't have a bow at all, so I have to find a metal bow somewhere, which just isn't fun. Um... I'll, and with that weapon degradation, why doesn't a weapon auto-populate? Like, you're like, hey, uh, oh, uh, oh my god. Oh, it's like, fuck, Link. Throw a brain. So you have to go in the menu and get That's That's irritating. Hopefully they fix that in Tears of the Kingdom. I don't know. I haven't watched a review on Tears of the Kingdom because I don't like spoilers. Because I might accidentally spoil something here, to be honest with you. I don't like to pay for the fairies. That's irritating. I'd rather do a little mission or free something. But... Excuse me. You have to pay. First one I found was 100 rupees. The second one is 500 rupees. I guess the next one will be 1,000 and then 10,000. It's like, I don't, I've got like 10 rupees to my name. Once again, this game is just like real life. I have 10 rupees to my name. 
How the fuck am I going to... Ah! Okay. And then the stamina. I just don't like that. I mean, come on. I want to play a game. I'm already fat and overweight and have no stamina. I walk to the fucking fridge and I'm out of breath. I don't really want that in my video game. But the pros, the game is absolutely... <clears throat> excuse me. Ah, absolutely gorgeous. Um, each area is different and awesome. Uh, like even the weather functionality is, is kind of cool, but then I didn't know this. So I was outside of a shrine that I just completed. And I went to go do something and I was dead. I found my, my boy link laying there dead because I got fucking struck by lightning. That's somewhat irritating. Um, uh, that's still worth the money. I mean, um, at the end of the year, Nintendo will tell me how much of my life I wasted on my Switch. And Breath of the Wild is going to be the top game. Yeah. Yes. Unless Pikmin 4 really draws me in. Uh, but it's fun exploring, too. Like, I'm going to go do that now. I'm just going to go try to mine ore to sell for rupees. Um, I'm going to try to do that fucking stealth mission, mission to get, like, the Queen's special thing as I'm dressed in drag. Yeah. What the fuck? Uh, and, but I, I switch the armor when I get there, but I still get bitch slapped by those wind dudes with the wind sword, which are pretty badass, and I want to get a few of those. But I am liking the game now. I'm enjoying it. Yes, it still gets frustrating um, when you just suddenly catch fucking fire because, <laughs> like, dude, that, really? Yeah. But, but I guess I shouldn't say anything because right now it's like 115 degrees outside and shit's just catching fire. But yes, I do. I, I now I'm a fan of this game, but I really would prefer they go back. Damn it, I didn't bring my copy. Uh, Wind Waker. I loved Wind Waker. Wind Waker is my favorite Zelda. Some people hate that, and I'm fine with that. Leave your favorite Zelda in the comments. I would love to know that. Uh, definitely Wind Waker. Twilight Princess is second. So I just love the GameCube era Zeldas, and I'm really hoping Nintendo pops both of them on one of these little cartridges so that I can enjoy those games for like the 20th time on my Switch. I love those games. They have HD ports already. They just have to remove the the pad functionality. I don't think that would be very difficult. I don't know. I'm not a programmer. I'm, fucking, I'm a nobody. Um, but I would love that. I mean, what we found out from the Metroid Prime Remaster is that it was done. They probably had teams during COVID. Yo, Team Alpha, you're going to do a Metroid Prime Remaster. Team Beta, you're going to do a Pikmin 1 through 2 Remaster. What else ha did they remaster during COVID? Because obviously they, they're Japanese. They're like workhorses, right? That's in their cultures, I think. That's what I read somewhere. I don't know. hope that's not offensive. But uh, they're workhorses. They're productive. They do shit. And... I can't see them just sitting idly by for 15 months not doing anything. Uh, so I'm curious what else Nintendo has up their sleeve for holiday 2023. Obviously, Tears of the Kingdom was the big one. And then Super Mario RPG. But it's got to be something else. Like, I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope. But anyways, what games would you like to see? them port to the switch i still want my twilight princess wind waker and xenoblade chronicles x so every xenoblade chronicles game is on the nintendo switch this video is getting kind of long i don't know if that's good or bad uh probably bad i've been told i'm boring i am yet to get cool really cool editing software um, once i can afford that then maybe my videos will be less boring i don't know but uh let me know what you thought about the game in the comments, uh, are you liking Tears of the Kingdom? Because, uh, you know, the world is much farther along than I am. And what's your favorite Zelda game? Really want to know. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, share. Bye.